Hello, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Angel. Good evening. Hello, Ever. Carla and Carlos. Okay, so for today we have um we have to go and work on a topic which is giving directions. Uh, how how do you give up directions in English? That's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to understand that. Let's turn this off. Here we go. So, well, we only have five people. Let's prepare everything so maybe they can join us later on. Okay, Um, what we were talking about yesterday, yesterday we were talking about a lot of things. We finished uh, section number three. So you were getting prepared for your test. Um, the test is about, you know, section one, section two, and section three. Okay, um, let's see. Let me prepare everything so I can send. Let's see. We're going to start with giving directions. Here we go. Okay, pointer and cap captions. Now let me just share with you guys. Here we go. Share it. Let me share. Here we go. Okay, do you do you see this? Yes. Good. Yes. Okay, so we're going. I, I know you guys uh, understand a lot about uh, giving directions and also asking for directions. So that's what we're going to be talking right now. That's it. Okay, so achievement indicator is going to be identify, discuss, and talk about asking and giving directions in English. So let's see what we have. This is the topic introduction as usual. I like you to give a greeting with your classmates and listen to my intonation and also the pronunciation. Listen. Hi, Carla. What's going on on this Monday? Well, actually, today is Wednesday. Sorry, we're going to change this, okay? Hi, Carla. What's going on this Wednesday? Did you enjoy your weekend? Did you go anywhere interesting? Hey, hello, Carlos. I'm doing fine this Monday. I mean, this Wednesday. Well, I visited my relatives this, this weekend. What about you? No, I stay home with nothing to do. Do you know what we're going to learn today? Yes, I know. We're going to learn to successfully identify, discuss, and talk about asking for and giving directions. Okay, so let's see who's going to go first. Okay, Angel and Carlos. Angel, you start, please. Okay. Uh, hi, Carlos. Uh, what's going on this Tuesday? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Uh, did you enjoy your weekend? Did you go anywhere interesting? Interesting, interesting. In interesting. Very good. Hey, hello, Angel. I, I, I am doing fine this Monday. This Wednesday. Well, it's Wednesday. This Wednesday. Yes. Well, I visit my visited. relative. Visited. I visited. Visit. I visited my relative this, this weekend. What? about you no i stay uh, uh, home with nothing to do do you know uh, what we are going to learn today yes i know we are going to learn to successfully identify this identify test. identify successfully identify identify discuss and and talk about asking for and and giving directions very good i like that okay let's see who's next um ever in carla cano ever you start please hi carla what's going on this monday this wednesday this wednesday did you enjoy your weekend did you go anywhere interesting no 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 Anywhere interesting. 
anywhere interesting. Anywhere interesting. Yeah. Hey, hello, Ever. I'm doing fine this Wednesday. Well, I visited my relatives this weekend. What about you? Good. No, I stayed home with nothing to do. Do you know what we are going to learn today? Yes, I know. We are going to learn to successfully identify, discuss, and talk about asking for and giving directions. Very good, thank you. Only the pronunciation here, um, who, was, who was it? Ever. Um, state, a simple past, state. It's state. Pronouncing, pronouncing like a T at the end, okay? Okay. Good, all right, let's state. see who's going next. Stay. Noe, and let's see who's next. Noé and Rodrigo. Noé, you start, please. Hello. Noé, can you listen to us? Yes, yes, this is the, the, the conversation. Yes, please. Um, okay. I call what what's going on this Monday Monday. Did you enjoy your weekend? Did you go anywhere interesting? Interesting. 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 Yes. Hey Carlos. Hey, hello Carlos. I'm I'm doing fine this Wednesday. Well, I visited my relatives this weekend. What about you? No, I stayed home with nothing to do. Do you know what we are going to learn today? Yes, I know. We are going we are going to learn to successfully identify the scope and talk about asking for a given direction. Thank you very much. That was good. Let's see who's next. Uh, Susana and Okay, Susana and me. Mm, I start. Okay. Hi, Susana. What's going on this Wednesday? Did you enjoy your weekend? Did you go anywhere interesting? Hey. I am doing fine this morning where well, I visit my relatives this weekend. What about you? No, I stay home with nothing to do. Do you know what we're going to learn today? Yes, I know. We are going to learn to successful successfully, successfully, successfully identify, discuss, I, identify, discuss, identify, discuss, identify, discuss, and talk about a scheme for a Jimmy direction. Okay, very good. Giving directions. Let's see. Let's move on. Okay, so we're going to be talking about giving directions in English. So let's go on. Okay, wait, let me give you the numbers. Listen for your numbers. Listen, okay? Listen. Rodrigo, number one. Noé, number two. Carla Cano, number three. Ever Ayala, number four. Carlos Alvarado, number five. Ángel Saravia, number six. Eh, and Susana Chacón, number seven. Okay? Good. Number one, start reading, please. When, when learning how to give direction to a location, we also practice practice some values skills sucks as how to navigate the town and of course the city vocabulary. It's important to take baby steps with teaching this topic, starting first with the moving left or right or up and down. After, after this, there is a disable yes. to talk about direction vocabulary, socks are run, runs about or sidewalks and commands. 
expression to give an asking to asking for direction in English, like turn left or go straight. Be doing this, they they be able to start making more more precise sentence to communicate their talks. Thoughts. Thoughts. Yeah. yeah, good. Okay. Uh, questions about vocabulary or pronunciation. Oh, here. Um, this is by doing. By doing this. Questions, guys? After this, this is uh, bicycle. No sé cómo se dice. After where? Oh, sidewalks. Sidewalks. That it? Sidewalks. Sidewalks. Uh, uh, where, where, where people walk. Um, what, what is walk up, walk sidewalks in, in, in Spanish? Aceras. Aceras. Very good. Any other question? Okay, moving on. Number two, please. Number asking two. For the, your, asking for direction. Yes. Could you tell me how to get to? How do how do I find? Uh, pardon me and lose how do I get to? Which is the best way to? Could you direction me to? How do you get to? What's the best way to? Wait. Excuse me. How can I go to? Go to? Uh, could you tell me the way to? Excuse me. Could you tell me how to get to the bus station? Very good. Thank you very much. So these are the many ways that you can ask somebody how to uh, for directions. This is how you ask anybody in English. Okay. Let's see. And now we're going to see how they can uh, reply or answer to to this question. Okay. Number three, please. Okay. The easiest yes. way is to, the quickest way is to, the best way is to turn back, go back, turn left, right, into a street at the end of, go along, cross, take the first, Second row on the left, right. It's on the left, right. Go up, go down. It's about 50 meters from here. It's on your right, left. It's in the middle of the block. It's on the corner. It's next to, across, between, in front of, drive to, a street and turn left, right. Go straight ahead. Okay, okay, right there. Okay, the second part is going to do it number four. Number four, go this this part. Okay. It is why that why you're going the world way. The wrong, the wrong way. The wrong way. Wrong way. You're going you're going the wrong way direction, take this road on. Go, go down there. Go down here, there. Take she first on the there. On the left. On the left. Yes. The left. Take she second. second. On the right. On the right, turn right at the cross crossroad. Continue straight ahead. Ahead for about a mile. A mile. Continue. A mile. A mile. A mile. Continue past the far station. Jul. Jul pass a supermarket on your left. Um. 
It will be. It will be. It will be. You'll be on your left, right. You'll be straight ahead of you. Good. So this was this is you'll be. You'll be. You'll be. No, no, you'll. You'll. You'll be. You'll be. Okay, let's leave it like that. Okay. Um. So as you can see, these are all the a kind of answers that you can receive to the previous questions okay any questions about anything here vocabulary or pronunciation anybody good we continue then number five A specific Instructions. 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 Here are some useful words and phrases for Fra giving. Phrases. 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 Words and phrases for giving direction on the street. Maybe you are helping a driver, a driver, or someone who stops you to ask for direction to left right go straight on the on lights at the, on at the lights when you come to the crossroad lights equal Traffic light. Cross road equal where two roads cross. Go go across the round the roundabout. Round roundabout equal where all the cars go round a circle in the middle of the road. Take the first turning road straight on your left, right, turning equal road that goes left or right. You'll, you'll see, you'll come to a bank. Then, uh, don't take the first road. Go on for about two minutes or minutes, two minutes. Minutes, minutes. Min minutes, two minutes, 100 meters. Good, okay, good. So these are specific instructions, okay? Questions here, anybody? Yes, round about it. Es como, es redondel. Redondel, very good, ah, yes. Okay. Any other question? No, we're good. Who's next reading? I can't talk a little. Uh, six. Uh, yo, six. Okay, good. There we go. Landmark. Uh, we often uh, make reference to la landmarks when we gi when gi give direction to help the other person. Uh, this can be placed places, in a town. Places. Places. Mm -hmm. Places in, in a town. Such as cinema. Such, such, such as. Such as cinema, bank, bus, bus stop. Etc. Etc. They can also be part of the road system. Uh, here are some common terms. Taxi rank equal a place where taxis queue, queue, queue for passengers. Level crossing equal where the road and rail, railway meet. Uh, there are bar barriers uh, that go out and down to signal when a train is coming underpass 
equal a world way uh, that goes uh, that goes under a busy road uh, so big trains uh, can get to the other side safely 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 overpass fly over equal a road that goes over another road or railway very good okay questions about this here okay no questions number uh, seven teacher yeah teacher fly fly, fly over overpass fly over what, it's, what's it's like pasarela ah okay 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 because the, the the street are so busy that you cannot cross the street okay pero eh, but eh, overpass eh, what, eh, la, what, where is the difference eh, overpass fly, no, it, fly over. it can be the same it's the same it's the same thing Ah, you, can say, okay, okay. You, you can say overpass or you can say fly over. Ah, okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right. All right. Let's see number seven, please. Uh, zebra crossing black and white markings in the road for Pedestrians. Uh, pedestrians to cross the road. The marking look like a several stripes. Stripes. Like stripes. a stripes. El pedestrian cross crossing a place in the road where pedestrians can close. Often there are traffic li lines, tunnel, a road under or train mountains, crossroad where to road cross each other. Each other. Each other. And junction. Junction where one road meets another and you can either go left or right very good okay questions here guys any questions what is the meaning pedestrian pedestrian crossing um a cruz a is um un cruce de de pedestrian serían como quien camina por las calles What is that in Spanish? Peaton. Peate, peaton, yes. Peatones, peatones. Good. Okay, thank you. Any other question? No, we're good. Eh, Llegamos hasta ocho o siete, nada más. Ocho, ¿verdad? Siete. Siete, okay. Siete. Pero veamos quién... Oh, tenemos dos más. Um, ¿quién, ¿Quién? ¿Joana? ¿Qué número es Joana? What number is yours, Joanna? No, no tengo número. Okay, number eight. You go. Okay. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Okay. Fork in the road. Where the road divide divide and you decide to to go left or right turning and roll off to your left or right main road a big road where there is a lot of traffic lane a, a small road or a part of a road the left hand lane the right hand lane the bus lane very good thank you very much all right, any questions here, guys? Okay, we're good. So we're back to number one. Number one, please. Repo reposition of direction. Go past. Continue past something so that is, is, is now behind you. Go across. Go across. Cross something. Something. 
like a road or crossroad. Go alone, continue down a road. Go straight on, don't turn left or right. Uh, go up, walk, drive, drive up a uh, field. Okay, hill. very good. Hill. Yes, hill. All right, any questions, guys? No. Okay, let's go board number two. Number two, please. Number two. Um, go down. Go right down and hear a word. Go through or pass through something such as a single or a hand. Go out of exit. I'm uh, just a little way of station. This in front of you, you can see it facing you. It's opposite the bank. Play to ban on the corner if you keep square to work with a mining. Okay, very good. Okay, any questions, guys, here? No questions. Okay, moving on. Grado, como, como lo mencionaría? Yes, 90 degrees. 90 degrees, degrees angle. Okay. Okay, very good. Uh, number three. Okay. Uh, typical? Yes. English conversation. Excuse me, I'm looking for the post office. Okay, go straight on, turn, turn, left and the crossroads. It's about 100 meters of your left. You can miss it. Thanks. You're welcome. Very good. Nice. Number four. Giving direction examples. Go straight. Go straight on my strip. Very good. Number five. Turn left. Turn left. On the supermarket. Thank you. Number six. Go past. Go past in the cinema. You uh, and you find the library. 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 Yes. Library. Number seven. Cross. If you cross the street, you'll be in a bookstore there. You'll find, you'll find a bookstore there. You'll find a bookstore there. Very good. Number nine, I mean number eight, sorry. Go along. Go along the main road until you find the gas station. Until, until you find the gas station. Until, okay. Good. Um, number one. Oh, wait, 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 let me check. Yeah, we have. Who is Susana? Ever? Ever, no. Uh, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, you're number nine. Oh, oh what? I am was one. Oh, you were, you were one. So who's new? Um, Daniel? No. Yes. Daniel, you, you, you don't have a number, right? Uh, no, not, no, 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 Okay, so you are number nine, okay? Uh, number. Nine, nine, go, read. Okay, uh, no puedo, no puedo, no puedo ver bien porque hay un cuadro gris, ahora sí. Around the corner, the museum is just around. The museum, the museum is just around the corner, okay, very good. Okay, let's go back to number one. Okay. Number one. Between. You can find the coffee shop between the office building and the uh, movie theater. Office building. 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 Yes. Building. Okay, can somebody tell me what, it, what those building means? What does it mean? 
Edificio, no. building. Yeah. Edificio, yes, building. But it is also a verb. También es un verbo. Construir. Very good. Moving on. Okay. Number okay. What number? Number two, right? Number two. 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 Okay, two. I cannot see the example. Why? Behind, yes. there is nice part behind the parking lot. Yes, very good. Number four. Turn back, go back. If you get to the bridge. Bridge, bridge. Bridge, bridge the bridge, you win. Too far, you'll have to turn back. Very good. Number five. Go, go down, go down the hill, and you'll find, and you will find the entrance to the park. Very good. Number six. Go over uh, to get to building. Uh, you have to go over the walkway. Good. Hey, remember, it's half. Don't say have. It's have. You have to go over the walkway, okay? Uh, oh. Number seven. Go through. Pay go, a go, short... go through. Go through. Go through. Pay a shortcut to the school. Going through. The power. Good. Shortcut. 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 Uh, what does it mean, shortcut? What does it mean? What does that mean, shortcut? Camino corto. Un atajo. Very good. Atajo. Atajo. Uh -huh. atajo. Very good. Okay. Number eight. Number eight. Go, go up. Go up the high and that, you'll that find hill, the bus. Go up the hill and you and you'll find the bus stop. Very good. That was number eight. Number nine, please. Number nine. Number nine. Let me check. Who was number nine? Daniel. Oh yeah, Daniel. Go, Daniel. Daniel, remember you no, were number, number nine. ten. What? No, number nine. No, number ten. We don't have ten. No. Oh. Only nine. Oh. Okay. In front of the market is in front of the city hall. Very good. So let's begin to one. Number one. Beside. My school is beside a small park. Very good. Number two. Number two. Near. Uh, near. I live near the forest. Good. What is the forest? Bosque. Yes, very good. Bosque. Bosque. Okay, so maybe you cannot see that that's, that's, that's an example. Let me let me read it to you. Can you please tell me how do I get to 49th Street? Or you can say, can you please tell me how can I get to 49th Street? Where is the nearest super selectors? How can I get to Mercado Cuscatlan? I'm trying to I'm trying to get to Juan Pablo Avenue. How do I get to the American Embassy? What's the best way to get to the city hall? Where is Rosales Hospital? Can you tell me the piece and directions? Go straight on. So we already practiced this. Let's see. Okay, we finish with that. Now, let me just check this out. Cool. Okay, as you can see, that was very easy because we were talking about directions uh, since yesterday. We were talking about that, right? Do you remember? 
No, you don't remember. Okay, so that's that's about it with with directions. How to ask for direction? How how can I get to El Salvador de Mundo? Or how can I get to Merliot? Um, so those are the the big questions that you need to understand, and then you just give an an answer. For example, if I ask you how can I get to to Merliot? If I ask you how can I get to Merliot? What is what is the answer to that? <laughs> if I if I live here in Colonia Flor Blanca and I ask you how can I get to Merliot? What is the answer? No. Okay, if you go by car you're going to tell me just uh, get to okay from from here floor floor blanca get to the road the first road you're going to get is to get to el salvador del mundo then get uh, alameda araujo and go straight up all the way up to merliot okay that's it it's pretty easy or if you're going by bus just get the bus 42b or 42A, I don't know, I don't remember. But just get one bus and, and get- 42B. 42B, okay. <laughs> okay, get that 42B and you're on. So that, that would take you all the way up there, okay? So that's that's pretty easy giving directions, okay? Um, now, what we're going to do is that we need to practice. A, I, was, I was checking, I was checking your, your, what you have been learning during, uh, during the whole uh, Principiante 1 and Principiante 2 and Principiante 3. So in, you, you already know present continuous, you already know simple future with me, and you already know simple past, and you already know simple present. So you already know four tenses. Ya saben, o ya conocen cuatro tiempos en inglés. So, present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present, four of them, okay? So, what I'm, what I'm going to do is that we're going to do an exercise, asking you if you remember what is, for example, what is the present continuous? Do you know what is the present continuous? Do you remember? Yes. What is the present continuous? Uh, add ing in the verb. Good, but it's an action happening at the moment, okay? At the moment. Uh -huh. Yes, so ing at the verb, okay? ing at the verb, good. Uh, what is the simple future? When we use going to. Going to. Good, when we use going to, and going it's an to. action that is going to happen in the future. Good, that's good. In the future. Yeah. So, and what is simple pass? Simple pass, how do you know what simple pass? How do you know that we're using the simple um, pass? Was. Was. Was and where? Okay, those are auxiliaries. Was and where. Mostly, we use the auxiliaries did when we ma were making questions. Yeah? Did. Uh -huh. Did yes. for questions and also in the answer the verbs in the past and depends if the verb is regular or irregular. Or irregular. Good. Okay. okay. And what is the simple present? What is the simple present, guys? Do. Do when and. We use. Do and. Does. Do and does. Very good. Yeah. You recognize the simple present because we use do and does. And, uh, you know, like we use it for three things. Simple present, we use it to talk about habitual activities, things that we do every day. For example, taking a shower, eating dinner, eating breakfast. Those are habitual activities, actividades habituales. And number two, facts. Uh, facts are information you cannot change. So facts in Spanish would be hechos. Information que usted no puede cambiar. So that's number two. And number three is customs, costumbres. Uh, for example, I go to church or every Sunday. 
so those costumbres. So three things that we use to talk with the simple present. And we know that we're using the simple present because we use do and does, okay? So four things, okay. In this case, uh, we were talking about giving directions. So when we give directions or when you travel, when you travel, you drive, you drive, okay? So let's use drive uh, to make questions and answers. Remember last time we were talking about the, um, the information questions that we can use in all the tenses, remember? Do you guys remember? Okay, let me prepare it for you guys. Let me prepare. Um, let me see. Well, we also have to do this. Let me check. Let me check something. Okay. Okay. Give directions out. Okay. Now we're going to do. Oh yeah, having has. Let's go with having has. Okay, so right now we're going to start section number four. And section number four is all about, did you have fun? It's about the simple past. So let's start with this. Uh, top eight things people have to do. We're going to start with that. Let me upload it. Let me prepare it so I can share it with you guys. Okay, very good. Here it is. Top eight things people have to do. Have to do. Okay, now let's go and share it with you guys. Here we go. Let me know if you see it. Can you see this? Yes. Very good. Okay, pay attention to yes. this. And after that, I'm going to ask you some things, okay? Pay attention. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for talking about things that people hate to do. Let's get started by listening and practicing. 1. Stand in line. 2. Do laundry. 3. Travel to work. 4. Go to meetings. 5. Exercise. 6. Work in the yard. 7. Clean the house. 8. Open the mail. Now, I would like for you to practice this vocabulary by describing if you do these things or not. For example, I have to do laundry every weekend. I hate it. I don't have to clean the house. Besides putting this vocabulary into practice, I would also like for you to describe what other things you hate to do and why. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so let's go back because I want Eyes. to work with this. Six. Okay, we're going to work with this. Okay, number one is stand in line. What is a stand in line? What does it mean? Uh, hacer cola? Yes, hacer cola or hacer la fila. Very good. Uh, I, I just remember that yesterday I, I wanted to buy me some groceries. So I went to Walmart. I went to Walmart with, you know, I, I, I was going to buy something. But then I saw the line. It was like 200 people waiting to go in. So I said, no, no, man, I, go, I have to go home. So I came back home. I didn't go yesterday. Because he's in the Russell too, teacher. Too many people, <laughs> too many people, man. That's crazy. Okay, so stand in line. So the question here would be present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present, okay? So let's do 
the question for a present continuous. What is the general question for present continuous? What are you doing? Very good, thank you very much. Everybody repeat, what are you doing? What are you doing? What doing. are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, one more time. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Good. So what what would be the answer for this one? What is the answer? I am Mr. I am? I am standing in the line. Very good. Line. I, I am standing in line. I am standing in line. Everybody, please. I am standing in line. I am standing in line. I am standing, standing in line. Okay, so uh, who's number one? Me. Me. Who? Who? Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo. Rodrigo, what are you doing? I am standing in line. Good. Do the same question to number two. Yeah. Rodrigo, make the same question ah, to number sorry, two. Sorry, sorry. What are you doing, number two? Number two, what are you doing? Number two, number two, what is number two? Who is number two? Come on guys, we need to see the Okay, number three, answer please. No three either? Come on guys, you're killing me here. Um, number hello, four. hello, sorry. Who is this? Number three? I, I'm doing laundry. No, number one. Stand, I'm standing in line and we're doing one by one. Ah, okay, sorry. I'm standing in the line. No, I am standing in line. I'm standing in line. Very good. What number are you? Number three. Okay, ask, ask number four, the same question. Same question. Okay, number four, what are you doing? I standing in line. No, one more time. I am standing in line. There you go. I am. I am standing in line. Very good. As as number five, please. Number five. What are you doing? Doing. Doing. Mm -hmm. I am, I am standing in line. Standing, I am standing in line. I am standing in line. Very good, ask number six. Number six, what are you doing? Doing, doing. What are you doing? <laughs> I am standing in line. Good, ask number seven. Uh, number seven, what are you doing? I am standing in line. In line. In line. In I am, line. I am standing in line. One more time, please. I am standing in line. 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 Que usted me dice line. I know. Line. Line. Okay, good. That's number eight, please. What are you doing? What? One more time the question, please. What are you do? doing? What are doing. you doing? It's present continuous. What are you doing? One more time, what please. Are, what are you doing? Very good. Number eight. I am standing in line. Very good. Ask number nine, please. What are you doing? I number am nine? standing in line. Very good. Okay, so that's present continuous. What would be the, the question for simple future? What is the question for simple future? We're doing only number one. We're not passing from here. We have to do all questions. So what is the question for this in, in simple future? 
the general question, please. What are you going to do? Very good, everybody. What are you going to do? Repeat. What are, what are you going, going, to do? going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Repeat. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to do? One more time. What are you going to do? Very good. What are you going to do? Very good. So what is the answer? I am going to I am going to stand in line. Yes, yes, very good. I am going to stand in line. Everybody? I am going to stand in line. To stand in line. Stand. I am going to stand in line. Everybody? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to stand in line. in line. Good. Number nine, what are you going to do? I am going to stand in line. Very good. Number, uh, ask number eight, please. Uh, number eight, what are you going to do? Going. What are you going to do? One uh, more time, please. What are you going to do? Very good. I am going to stand in line. Very good. Ask number seven. Number seven, what are you going to do? Number seven, what are you going to do? I am going to study in line. Study? No, stand. I am going to stand in line. One more time, please. I am going to stand in line. Stand. 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 Okay, as number six, right? Or seven. Right. Six. Seven. Okay, make the question, please. What are you do what are you going to do? Very good. Okay. I'm going to stand in line. Very good. Who are you asking? Do, do the yeah. next question. No, number five. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do? I am going to stand in line. Very good. Next. Number four. What are you going to do? I am going to stand in line. Very good. Next. Number two. What are you going to do? Very good. Number two. Okay, number one. Can you can you answer this, please? I am going to stand in line. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so that is simple future. What is the question in simple past? What is the general question in simple past? What, is what did you do? Very good, thank you. What did you do? Everybody, please. What did you do? Okay, one more time. What did you do? What did, what you, did you do? You what do. did you do? And what is the answer? What is the simple past for a stand? What is the, what is the bird stand in the past? Standard. No. Is irregular. St stood. I stand. I no. stand. Stood. No. S T O O D. Stood. I stood in line. I stood in line. Okay. I stood in line. I stood in line. Everybody. I stood in line. I stood in line. Very good. Okay, um, number one, what did you do? I stood in line. Very good. Ask number two. And number two, what are what did you do? Oh, 
or number three? What number you, three, please, yes. What did you do? <laughs> I stood in line. Okay, next. Number four? Yes. What did you do? I stood in line. Next, please. Number five. What did you do? I stood in line. Very good, next. Number six. What did you do? I stood in line. Next, please. Number seven. Uh, uh, what did you do? I stood in line. Very good, next. The next question. Oh, what are did you? What are? Hmm? Do you? What? What are? No. What did you do? What did you do? Come on, one more time. What? Please. What are did you? What? Do? No, no. What did you do? What are did you? No, yo nunca digo are. What did you do? Otra vez, por favor. What are did? No le puse are. Solo, no, no diga are. Solo diga. What did you do? One more time, please. What did you do? Very good. There you go. I, I'm I stood in line. No, no, I'm. I. I stood in line. I stood in line. Very good. Very good. Next question. What did you do? Number nine. I stood in line. Very good. Okay, let's do a simple present. What is the question? What is the general question for the simple present? What do you do? What do you do? Very good. What do you do? Everybody. What do you do? What do you do? Yes, what do you do? Everybody, please. What do you do? What do you do? Very good. So what is the answer? I stand in line. There you go. Yes, I stand in line. Everybody. I stand in line. I stand in line. One more time. I stand in line. I stand in line. Very good. Number nine, what do you do? Okay, no. I stand eight. in line. Oh, very good. So, make the question to number eight. What do you do? I stand in line. Okay, next. What do you do? Number seven. Very good, thank you. Seven. Okay, number six, answer, please. I standing in line. No, 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 no. I stand in line. No standing. I stand I in line. I stand in line. Very good. Next question to number five. What do you do, number five? I, I stand in line. Very good. Next. Number four, what do you do? I stand in line. Next. Number three, what do you do? I stand in line. Next. Number two, what, what do you do? Okay, number one, please. Okay, I'm going to be number one. I, I, I stand, stand sorry, I stand in line. Okay, very good. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Okay, so now, you see what we did? We did all the questions for present continuous, simple future, simple past, and simple present, a general question only for number one, I stand in line. So your homework is, you're going to practice with number two, do the laundry, number three, travel to work, number four, go to meetings, Number five, exercise. Number six, work in the yard. Number seven, clean the house. Number eight, open the mail. So you're going to do this at home. Practice doing the, the four questions and answers for this one, okay? Practice it. Um, so right now, I think we already finished the class. 
Yeah, it's already 901, so that's it for today. So you see, it's only one hour. I think we need some more time to practice. When we practice, we're like, so that's that's good for you because you need to practice more, okay? Um, any questions so far? No questions. Okay. okay, so I'll see you tomorrow, please, and practice. Practice what I told you, okay? Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Bye. Good night. Have a good night.